one of the biggest problems that I have with insurance, I'm trying to say this without being just the, the jerk of the internet. <laughs> the number one reason I find that people have an issue when they're buying insurance, the number one mistake that people make is they buy the policies for home, auto, life, you name it. They buy that policy based out of price, um, which is important to a point. So when you shop around, think about this. Uh, one, you were probably never taught insurance. If you don't know anything about insurance, watch one of my first videos, Insurance 101. It's like a year and a half old, but it's completely worth it. I doubt anything's changed because I don't think anything ever will change except for the little numbers that fluctuate. But the generalization of it, what you need to know about it is there. So when you learned insurance, if you learned like I did, it was you got a car, go buy insurance. Great, I have no clue what I'm supposed to carry, right? <laughs> so dad bought my insurance. Oh, you bought a car. Dad put you on his policy. If you weren't as fortunate, then dad just made you pay him 50 bucks a month or $100 a month to pay for that policy, right? So did you ever learn what it meant, what it did for you? So a lot of people, what they do is they get that negative rap, which some of it's true. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. There, there were a lot of commercials back then, uh, especially in the life insurance industry. Sorry, I didn't, didn't mean to start the controversy. But <laughs> there, a lot of insurance companies used to sell out of fear because they would say, oh, if you don't have enough coverage, Timmy's never gonna have a life, and you know, you're, do you wanna leave somebody like this, and do you wanna, you know, it, it, was a, it was kind of a tactic, I think, anyways. But the biggest problem that I run into is people just don't know. Like, they don't know, and they don't care, right? Instant freeze, let's test you. Do you know what your bodily injury limits are? If you don't, you were just like I was nine and a half years ago, completely clueless and that is the number one risk that you can take is bodily injury in an auto accident or do you know what your liability is on your home insurance the number one risk and the number one reason insurance companies raise their rates is because they're worried about the liability risk they know how much your house is worth they know how much your car is worth if you total that bmw they know they're going to pay fifty five thousand dollars to replace that you told them you had a nice stereo. You told them you had the little skirt edging and the, the flares and the neons and all that. So they have an extra $3,000. So if you total the BMW completely, they know they owe you $58,000, right? But they don't know what's gonna happen if you hurt somebody. You run over your friend's foot, <laughs> right? You hit a car and the guy's in a coma for three weeks. They have no clue what that value is to that person. So that's where they fear the most. It's not so much the car, unless you're driving Infinities and, and some of the higher end cars where they're sports and, and they're performance models, which almost every Infinity is labeled that way. Um, it's great cars though. <laughs> you know, that, that's gonna fluctuate it quite a bit because now you're kind of getting into those cars have a higher liability risk but it's majority of it for your normal, you're driving the Honda, you're driving the Toyota, you're driving the, you know, the SUV, you're driving a Silverado. They know the values of those. They know what the damage is. The problem is they're trying to evaluate the risk of you having a liability claim. So the question you have to ask yourself is when you have that occurrence, if you ever do, I hope you don't and most of you won't, but if that ever happens, are you willing to take the risk that you're potentially setting yourself up for? Well, Mark, I don't have any money. How can they take anything from me? Insurance can take up to 30%, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm 95% sure it's 35% or 30% of your income. So imagine you having a one mistake, you turned left when you meant to turn right, I don't know, you, you forgot to put your blinker on, you hit that left turn, you didn't see the motorcyclist, you didn't see the car, whatever, you hit it, just tapped it, right? The guy falls off the bike, flies down the street, he's in a coma for two weeks. You didn't mean to cause that. Maybe he just slid, he stood up at the end, but he hit the pole that was next to him. So he's now injured, he's, he's got brain damage, or he's got uh, a limp for the rest of his life, right? That's a mistake, you didn't mean to do that. That was something that was an accident. And that's why you have insurance. Now this is not, be careful, I'm not trying to sell you this out of fear, right? I'm just giving you an example 
But, um, and I'm not trying to sell you anything, by the way. <laughs> if you want insurance quotes, I'll put a link down below, but this isn't what this is about. Uh, so you've had that occurrence and you've got $10,000 to your name, right? So they take your $10,000, you've only had $20,000 worth of coverage, so they take your $20,000 out of the insurance company, they're coming after you for the rest. So you've only got ten grand, right? I'm done, I'm gone, I'm on my way. No, that's not gonna work that way. They're gonna take your income. You, you drastically change somebody's life, not on purpose, you're not a bad person, you made a mistake, it happens, right? So you've now drastically changed someone's life, but you have to be accountable for that. So they are gonna take your income. They're gonna take up to 30% of what you work every day for, every hour of your income. So imagine, can you live, even if I'm wrong, let's just say it's 20%, which I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right. But even if it was 20%, imagine working the same job, the same hours, but now you're making 20% less than you used to. What kind of life does that give you, right? You earn more money, but now 20% off of that comes off the top too. So you get a, a dollar raise, you only got an 80 cent raise because now it's changed. So that's what I wanted to get into. That's the biggest problem that I find that people just don't understand and they don't get. I understand it's not something that most people want to learn because insurance is something you typically buy. You kind of forget about it. As long as the price stays the same, then you're fine. Right, you set the coverages up. You kind of forget about them. You don't remember what the coverages are. You might pull out that policy, the declarations page that tells you your coverages, and you can actually look at, okay, what kind of coverages do I have? Um, you're going to be confused if you've never done this before. So I encourage you to pull out the declarations page if you don't have it pull out your cell phone, go to your app, and then look at what kind of coverages you have. If you don't know what they are, go watch my Insurance 101 video. It'll show you exactly what the differences are. It'll kind of tell you sort of what you should carry within a, a legal aspect. I can't tell you exactly because I don't know where you are, um, but I can tell you what coverages I carry. So that's a big thing to think about. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you loved it, share it. Uh, if you didn't like it, thumbs down and leave me a comment. I want to know what you thought. Uh, don't go on rants because I'm going to delete your comment if you go crazy and say, Mark, your insurance, ah, these insurance companies are ripping us off. And these are, Go watch my rip-off insurance video. A comment there, okay? <laughs> if you want to talk bad about it, there's a video down in the link there that you can, you can go on there and rant all you want because I do talk about how they make money off of you, right? There's different things. Uh, for different times and this is the time I want to explain the number one reason why most people don't understand insurance what they're partially afraid of knowing or just don't care because it was never taught to them that way alright guys I will see you in the next video